Well, finally for us here on the town hall tonight, a new beginning at a very old and historic building. The Hotel Henry at the Richardson Complex near Buff State closed more than two years ago. But tonight, a new operator is welcoming its first guest to this new hotel. And two on your side's Kelly Dudzik takes us there. It's a big day for Karen Olazak. Our focus is to really tie into the brand of the architecture um, and the landscape design. As the general manager of the new Richardson Hotel in Buffalo at the Richardson Olmsted Complex, Karen is responsible for hotel operations and making sure everything runs smoothly opening weekend. So one of the first things um, we wanted to do is um, it was a little bit awkward before where the front desk was, so we wanted to make it on the first floor when guests first enter so it's easy to see and check in. And it's right under the staircase. Right underneath the staircase. Fits nicely here. Fits perfect. We wanted to make sure that, it, you know, it wasn't the main focal point of the lobby, um, but that it was easy to see. There are also new color-coded signs throughout the hotel, and instead of a mostly white interior, you're now greeted by photos of local landmarks and warmer colors inspired by some of the building's original artwork. During renovation, um, Douglas had uncovered a piece of the original stenciling that was in this building, so he had it framed and he didn't like how everything was all white before and he wanted to make it a little bit warmer, so he thought that the stenciling would look perfect throughout the lobby, kind of bring back that era when it was built. The complex dates back to the 1870s when it was the Buffalo State Asylum. It first opened its doors to patients in 1880. Right, so does this lead to the guest room? This leads to the odd side, which used to be the men's quarters. And the floor is original. So this was originally built when the building was built. Um, all of the buildings were built in different phases. They all weren't just built at the same time. As uh, they increased the amount of patients, they increased the amount of buildings. This is the original tile uh, from when this particular building was built, and it's still in pretty good shape. Right now, there are 88 hotel guest rooms with a building on reserve to add 40 more. And there's a barn that hotel owner Douglas Jamal hopes to turn into an event space. He also has plans to add residential units. All right, a lot still to come. Kelly mm -hmm. joins us now. So it wouldn't be a great hotel without a great place to grab some food or a drink. Um, right. Tell us about the new cafe, bar, and restaurant that will be coming online. Yeah, we have dates. So the cafe is going to be opening up April 1st. It'll be overwinter coffee that's served there. It's going to be kind of like a Starbucks vibe, Karen said. The bar opens up April 15th. Then on May 15th, the restaurant opens. Cucina's will be an Italian-inspired restaurant, also with steak and seafood options. The old restaurant was there, had my favorite beet soup that oh, I ever had I in love my life. Beets. I a, love beet salad, great, beet soup. A great spot. Obviously, yeah. there were issues with the old operator. Right. A lot of people were just right. glad to see this back and online. And then especially now. during COVID, those came yeah. to light. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it yep. certainly is, Kelly. Thank you very much.